Exactly there. Why are you doing it? Perfect. Okay, cool. So we are we are live now. You're All live. right, darling. I'm at your service. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Well, I'm glad that we got through our, our little technical issues. Um, but but now we're here. And I didn't I didn't I just wanted to, to, to say up front that I did not I did not prompt you to wear red. I think we just both were in that holiday spirit. Great minds think alike. And honey, I want to acknowledge you for all the beautiful things you said back at you, beautiful goddess. You are one of my inspirations. Your energy, your beauty, your willingness to want to help everybody, honey. Like, I'm honored to know you, Jillian, my love. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I, I just, I feel like sometimes what happens is that you, you don't necessarily know. You go through life and you meet a lot of people and I think sometimes what happens is that you just, you just have connections with people and you don't necessarily even know why, but it's just, it's a natural thing. And that's how I felt with you from the second that I met you. Like I remember here, like I said, I heard your voice and I was like, wow, that's a great voice. And then when I met you, I was like, this woman is awesome. <laughs> you know? I love you. Thank you, my darling. Absolutely. Absolutely. My pleasure. So, um, so I just, I wanted to, to connect us and get us together today, just so that we could talk a little bit about, you know, your experience, you know, this year has been, you know, I've said so many times, like we've had enough adversity this year for a decade, you know, and I think it's, um, it, it's the time for people to learn how to survive, but not just that, you know, turn it into a way to thrive. And that's, you know, that kind of leads to my first question for you is like, how is it that you are able to take each day and just put, get so much out of it. You know what I mean? How do you do that? Well, as you know, <laughs> because you know, we've talked before, every day to me is a gift. And I truly mean that. I don't take any day for granted. The fact that I'm awake and I'm alive, that alone is a gift. And, you know, now that I'm 44 years old, it's just the beginning of my life. And I want to do a lot in my life. So one of the things that has become so natural, but it was not a normal thing. It's something like I heard gratitude list. I'm like, what is a gratitude list? What do you mean? Yeah. And then I realized I was doing it naturally because of my childhood experiences. So it's become a part of me to just wake up in the morning and just say, wow, thank you, God, for being alive. Thank you for my beautiful life. Thank you for my beautiful children. Like just giving gratitude. I mean... Even a coffee. I don't just drink coffee to go. I make sure I can enjoy my coffee. Yep. Yep. So being in the space of gratitude, and as a matter of fact, I talked to one, of, I led a seminar about gratitude because that's how I feel strong about gratitude because one, it's the highest vibration. And two, mm -hmm. when you can do it, it really shifts your energy. And in a way, it's welcoming the abundance and the gifts from universe to come because you're open, you're putting yourself in that space of receiving, being in gratitude. Does that make yes. sense? Yes, absolutely. That vibration, like what, what happens with the people that are the, the most successful in life, whether they have great marriages or money or business or what have you, they, you find that they are the most grateful, not that they don't have challenges, not that they don't have adversity, but that's not their focus or focuses on, on all of the blessings that they've received in some way, shape or form so that they can have more. And so I really think that that's a, that's a huge point for people to know and, and to draw upon to be able to create something more, you know? Uh, and I know you, you talk about like your kids, like you're such a great mom, you know, and I, I knew from the beginning when we, you know, sort of met like through soccer, like I was like, she's, she's balancing so much. Right. So how do you, how do you balance like being a great mom and, and then, you know, being there for them, for the girls. And how do you also, you know, just be this like powerhouse and this tremendous woman in business also, because it's a lot. Well, it's a, it's a huge question because there's a lot that I do. So I'm going to try to be bam, bam, bam right? So number one is being organized. Being organized mm. is everything. Okay. So if you walk into my office, I literally have checklists behind me with calendars and schedule because, you know, as you mentioned earlier, I do corporate childcare, 
I have a few different side businesses and I make films. Yeah. So those things needs management. And as one of my mentors said, people are good, as good and as effective as their management. I'm like, what does that mean? Mm. Like, well, even when you delegate, you need to still connect with those people and you need to check in with them. You need to oversee it. So that's why I created checklists for everything, including my children. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So that's one. And then so organization is one. And then the other thing that I would highly like recommend is forgiveness. Okay. Mm -hmm. I make mistakes. I drop the ball, but integrity is the foundation for my life. So, which is also why I have checklists because I don't want to forget things. Checklists right. are there to remind me. I'm not a super yeah. woman where I can remember everything, you know? So I, but even with all the checklists and all the support, you know, you have those days where your daughter wakes up and she's sick or you get a phone call and you have an emergency, right? Yeah. I make mistakes or I want to be one of the things I value about being a mom is to be gracious. Now, am I gracious all the time? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so. No, there's no way we could all. <laughs> yeah. So when I make a mistake or where I am not where I want to be, I have learned to just forgive myself. I literally say this to myself. It may sound kind of, you know, you may relate to this, but I say, hey, minute, stop it. Stop judging yourself. You did the best you could. Forgive yourself. And what do you need to do to fix it? So if it's a phone call to apologize for dropping the ball, I don't wait on it no. for like a day. I don't have a day to wait on it. I pick up the phone, I call, I clean it up, I acknowledge, and I see how I can fix it if it included other people. If it's with my children, I cannot tell you how many times I have told my children, no, guys, I am so sorry for losing it. I was, I was hungry. I was in the middle of something. I, I let them know what's going on, and I apologize yeah. and I say, you know, let's make this up. Let's talk about how we can fix it or make it up to you. Yeah. So those are the two main keys. I'm so glad that you said that because I feel like there's a lot of like mom guilt, especially mompreneur. There's this mom guilt that like you, you know, and I, yes, I yell at my kids, right? I do sometimes, but like you yell at your kids because there's a lot going on and your, your mind is like full of all these things. And then they're like, mom, mom, I need, ah, or, you know? Um, and I feel like that you have to be okay with the fact that you're not going to be perfect all the time. You're going to have those moments, but be okay and be accountable for it and go, okay, how can we improve it? How can we make it better? Cause uh, yeah, I've, I've definitely flown off the handle. I think that all of us, especially, you know, with everything that we've been dealing with, not just this year, but you know, forever that there's always going to be moments where you're overwhelmed, but you have to be okay with owning up to it and, forgiving yourself, but also, you know, getting forgiveness from other people. So that's really huge. There is one more thing, my love. So I introduced you to Mindology Fitness, right? Yes. Mindology Fitness with, with Troy Buyer. I'm sorry, what? With Troy Buyer. Yeah, Troy Buyer. So yeah. one of the things I loved about it is that she put a lot of different modalities into one. So when I'm really at the, like, I'm just like losing it. It's just like overwhelming. I got kids yelling and then I have an emergency. So I literally use some of the techniques like holding this to calm myself down yeah I'm like breathe you got this to calm me down so i could respond yeah and when or when there's a lot going on i do this one i put my hand up and say god i need patience <laughs> <laughs> oh i need that one <laughs> I, for sure. and it works because physically when we change our body physically yeah it will make a difference you know how like, like when you sit like this what is like your energy is closed when you do this yeah. your energy is open you can receive so that's if anyone's going to take anything away from today i want it to be use your physical body to shift your energy oh, this, so good. do this if you if people even people when they're mad or sad like their heart is hurting when they yeah. do this, you're going to feel your heart open up. Wow. So I just want to make sure. To that's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Like, I, I mean, I think that that makes an impact on so many people, you know, just by making that small shift 
in how you look at things and how your physiology, like literally, like, you know, they say uh, changing your state and putting yourself in a different situation so that you can attack it with a different mindset. And I think that's, that's huge. Um, but you, you know what, I, I want to go down that road and I know we don't have a ton of time, but like, and ho hopefully, like you said, we could do this again. This is awesome. But um, what changed in you that you started to make you know, more of a commitment to like self-care? Because I know when, you know when you introduced me to Troy and Mindology Fitness, I just loved that energy. And I feel like you're always so open to things like that that are like along self-care. So like, when did you make that commitment and how did it shift for you when you started to focus more on your body and taking care of yourself? Well, when I had young children and I couldn't run after them, I'm like, D what? I'm only 30 something and I can't run with my kids? Shame on me. This is ridiculous, right? Yeah. So my inspiration is I want to live till 90 years old and still go on vacation with my daughters. Mm. I want to see the world, you know? Yeah. Life is a gift. I want to be healthy to enjoy it. So that's when I made that commitment. And of course, as you know, I was heavily overweight. So I just committed because long-term future was very important. And on that note, there is an amazing book I came across that I read. I had my children read or listen to it, actually. Mm -hmm. It's by James Clear. It's all about habits. habits. It's all about habits. Creating ha healthy habits. It's yeah. all believable because our habits it's it talks about long-term goals and habits and how you can break the things that don't support you short term mm -hmm. i'll just leave it at that you may want to i'll share share that with everyone please i mean i think that that is i think we're sometimes we feel like we're prisoners of our habits you know i felt oh. like that sometimes where we're like you know i've always done it this way and even though there's a part of me that wants to be able to change it. I, you know, sometimes still get up, still do the same habits, still do the same things. And I'm like, why can I not change? It's because it's a, you know, like you're saying that a long-term focus, like a long-term drive or reason why you want to be able to change that habit. So, so he gives you amazing tips on how to achieve that. I just wish I had that book long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That's, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, um, Okay, I'll ask you one last question, and then I know I was like, I wanted to keep this short. Um, but here, here's my, and I have more questions about the business side of, of what you do, but here's my, my question. So how do you keep, like, reinventing yourself in business and in life? Because, you know, when you made um, Duality, like, you, you made this film that, like, just was all about, like, the power of choice. You know what I mean? And so I just want to see, like, how is it that you continue to reinvent and innovate, you know, in your life? Wow. Okay. So first of all, again, attitude is everything. And attitude is not something you're born with. It's something that is taught. Where I grew up was so dark. It was so like nothing happens. People started hating me when I started committing to being great every day. I actually yeah. said to myself, I'm going to commit to being great. I'm going to fake it till I make it. Mm -hmm. People around me were like, you're disgusting. How could you be great all the time? And I'm like, because I said so. Yeah, that's right. It started like that about 20 years ago, okay? And now it's just a natural, it's become a part of me where yeah. after I do the gratitude list, I'm just grateful for what, I, you know, every for being alive and capable. Then I go into... Okay, what lights me up? If I only had a year to live, six months to live, how do I want to live my life? What do I want to do, right? And if I'm committed to something, like I'm the CEO of Precious Time, that is my commitment. People count on me. I right. love the children. I love my families, right? No matter how busy I get, I'm still committed to that. Mm -hmm. But what I do, I keep getting myself present to it and I create new goals, new purpose. And I revisit that with my directors to get them inspired, to get them excited. You know, at the end yeah. of the day, everything is a choice. Everything in our lives is a choice. Being a victim is a choice. Having an extraordinary day is a choice. All you have to do is get up in the morning and say, universe, 
I am declaring today is going to be an extraordinary day yeah. and bring it on just like that. And miracles will start to happen. Yeah. So, and then the other thing is when you're in that space, your intuition will guide you. One of my prayers, I do a lot of prayers and one of them is God, please bring the right people into my life. I want to become more successful so I could give more so I could contribute more. Yeah. And, and then I meet people, I'm conscious and aware. I like my intuition leads me to the next thing. And I've had amazing magic because of that. Mm -hmm. So duality was one of those magics. I mean, to get Dr. Deepak, who I spent a whole time on an island with, I never thought, and I got to know him personally, it was that connection that made me realize, oh my God, he's my guy for this film. Yeah. And then we invited him and it was a complete magic to have him. That's incredible. And it's, I think that that, that is a really key component of, you know, being open, like you said, like opening yourself up, but also asking for people that are going to help you change your life and help you do the things that are going to help take you to the next level and give you what it is that you dream about. And I think we all can do that. And that's the, that's the biggest point that I want to make is that we didn't start that way. Most people don't start that way. They decide one day or and over time they learn and grow to do the things that they need to in order to be able to get to the next level. And I'm so grateful that, that we met and just, you know, by random twist of fate as, you know, fellow soccer moms, you know, um, and you've, and I've learned a lot from, from you, just mindology and you know, some of the concepts and, you know, business. I love being um, in business with you. I love you having that opportunity to be able to learn and grow together, but also to bless and help others in the process. So this is just, I guess, I guess we lost her. Uh-oh, what happened? I don't know. Um, well, if I'm still live, well, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was an awesome, awesome interview. We'll do it again. Uh, we might have lost payment. I sometimes um, service can be the thing, but look, I appreciate you guys. I hope you got some value from that and, you know, just be inspired, go out there and do something great with your lives. Uh, but take this time. I hope you go back and listen to what, some of what payment said and go back and listen and see if there's a way that you can find some value to be able to start to make the changes that you desire in your own life. So be inspired for a great life, everybody take care. Have a happy holiday.